Well, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing fine. I got a message that I'm going to bring you today. I think you will find it quite interesting and quite revealing and beneficial to help you to get over certain things in your life. But before I get off into this message, I want to give honor to God. And I want to give honor to Jesus Christ. And I want to thank him for his Holy Spirit that now dwells in me and that dwells in all believers. For you are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. You have been recreated by the new spirit that is in you, which is called the Holy Spirit, which is called God's Spirit indwelling the tomb. And with that, I say you are blessed beyond measures than you can imagine or think. You are blessed through Jesus Christ. So, this message today that I want to bring to you is called God, your revenger. See, we have to understand that God is our revenger. He said, let vengeance be mine. So with that being said to me, he let me know that he will revenge for me. I don't have to go out and revenge other. I don't have to do evil for evil. I don't have to do that no more. And to enlighten you on what I'm talking about, I'm going to a, uh, I'm going to a few verses to show you where he states that he is our revenger and things like that. So I can open up your mind so that you can relax in the comfort of your God, knowing that everything is going to be all right because your God got your back. Your God got your back. First thing that I need to bring to your attention is that we live in a world where there is a lot of disrespect mistreatment and hatred etc there's a lot of evil going on there's a lot of evil going on but you conquer evil through jesus christ you conquer evil through the holy spirit you conquer evil through god who is our revenger see god will revenge the evil that's done for us we don't have to go out and seek revenge God will take care of that for us. All we got to do is continue to see Christ. Have a personal relationship with God. Allow the Holy Spirit to work in our life and live in righteousness and, and obey God's word. That's all we got to do. God will take care of everything else if you believe. See, I believe that God got my back. I believe that God will revenge for me. I have no doubt in that. I believe that. This also that that could make you see when you've been uh, 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 when you try to get out there with all this evil coming at you, it can make you be re it can make you be vengeful. It can make you be vengeful, but you don't. But you don't have to. Remember, God is your revenger. So you don't have to be vengeful. You don't have to go out and seek revenge. As you remember, God is your revenger. You ought to remember that in your heart, in your mind, that God is going to take care of that for you. God got your back. You should always remember that. God is your protector and caretaker. God is your protector and caretaker. God will take care of you. Understand that. God will take care of you. After all, you got to understand one thing. You are God's child. And if you are God's child, God will protect you. God will protect you. See, over here in Exodus 14, 14, God will fight for us. With God fighting for you, you cannot lose. Let's just read Exodus 14, 14 right quick. Exodus 14 said, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall not, and you shall hold your peace. Now understand that the Lord will fight for you. That's telling me that God is fighting for me through his Godhead, <laughs> through his Godhead and through his word if I be obedient to it. God is fighting for me. I don't have to get out there and fight. I don't have to do evil for evil because I got a God, I got a Jesus, I got a Holy Spirit, and I got the word of God, which is God's kingdom, fighting for me if I utilize it to fight for me. You understand that? And he said, and then he tells me in the process, and he said, you shall hold your peace. So he telling me to be peaceful. 
He said, you should hold your peace. I shouldn't be getting out here getting angry, getting frustrated, gospeling, backbiting, holding grudges, or none of that stuff. I shouldn't be doing none of that because guess what? God is my revenger and God just told me he's fighting for me. And if I got God fighting for me, there's no way that I can lose. There's no way that I can lose and there's no way you can lose if you let God fight your battles for you. Go with me to Isaiah 54:17. Isaiah 54 17. I want you to understand what it's saying in Isaiah 54 17. Because if you really comprehend what he's saying in Isaiah 54 17, you already know that you have victory in God. You already know there's no way you can lose because his word just told you so. So to give you an idea of what Isaiah uh what Isaiah um, 54, 17 says, it says, No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Now look at that. He's telling me, there's no weapon formed against me shall prosper. There's nothing that you can do to me. There's nothing that you can say to me. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that you can do or say to me that will prosper that will prosper there's no weapon and by me knowing that i can just live in the righteousness of jesus christ i can live in the new creation that i became through the holy spirit that dwells in me all things have passed away behold all things have become new i can live in the love that god wants me to live because there's no weapon that's formed against me that will prosper and with that being said that means then i cannot be defeated you know why i cannot be defeated because god will not be defeated and god is fighting for me and god will stop any weapon that's coming at me or any weapon that's coming at you that that it may prosper that it may outdo you you can't lose if God is your revenger <laughs> if God is your revenger but you got to notice in your heart and when you notice in your heart you know that you cannot be defeated with God fighting for you then you should be singing a song of victory. You should be giving a praise of victory because that can't be touched through God. Because of God, I can't be touched. Because of Jesus, I can't be touched. You should be singing songs of victory. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. And then it said, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So can't nobody even speak evil against you because if they do, it has no value. It has no value because you got God with you. You got God fighting for you. You got God protecting you. I, get, I think a lot of times we get a tendency to forget that, but we need to realize that and keep that at all times. I can't lose. So I'm going to live God's way because God is fighting my battle for me. And if God is fighting my battle for me, that means God is my revenger. So I don't have to live a life of vengeance. <laughs> I don't have to live a life of grudges. I don't have to live a life of frustration. I don't have to live a life of anger. I don't have to live a life of misery. Because I don't have to live that because God is my revenger. And there's no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. And God fight my battles for me. So therefore, I cannot lose. I cannot lose. I cannot lose. Then it goes on in the later part of this verse. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. And our righteousness is in the Lord. Our righteousness is in Jesus Christ. Our righteousness is in Jesus Christ. But you have to always remember that there is no weapon formed against any believer that will prosper. So with that said, the only thing I can tell you, and you got to believe it, you cannot lose. 
Put on a whole armor of God. Use the tools that he gave you. God is your revenger. So that's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. We got to live by faith. And then in Romans 12, 19, tell you straight out, God is your revenger. You shouldn't go seek revenge. God will revenge for you. So go with me to Romans 12, 19. Romans 12, 19. Romans 12, 19 says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself. So when he said avenge not yourself, he said, don't go out there and do evil for evil. Don't go try to pay somebody back for doing wrong to you. That's what he's saying. He said, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto vengeance but rather give a place unto wrath but rather give a place unto vengeance but not the but not for you to go seek vengeance but rather to give a place unto vengeance for it is written <laughs> see the continuation for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay said the lord now you see what i'm saying he said vengeance is mine I will repay, said the Lord. So if that ain't God telling you that he going to do the revenge for you, he just said give a place for vengeance. And the only way you can give a place for God to work, you can't go out there and try to do it yourself. You can't go out there and cuss people out. You can't go out there uh, uh, holding grudges, uh, disrespecting people, gospel and backbiting, because then all you're doing is evil for evil then you're not giving place for vengeance. So God can do the work. God says still live in love. God said live in peace. That's what God said. And when you do that, God will take care of the vengeance. Because God is your revenger. If you neutralize him, if you do it right. But he said in order for it to work, in order for it to work, he said you can't go out there and take vengeance your own. You can't go out there and attack somebody for doing wrong to you. He said, no, let me handle it. Let me take care of it because I am your revenger. God said, I am your revenger. He said, vision is mine, said the Lord. So understand that. And then now go with me to Romans uh, 12, 17. Then it said, Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. So otherwise he said recompense. Recompense. If otherwise he said repay no man evil for evil. He said don't go out here and do evil for evil. Don't go out here and do wrong for wrong. If he hit you, don't hit him back. He said if he hit you, sometimes just walk away. Turn the other cheek more or less in that nature. But he's saying don't do evil for evil. If he cuts you out, don't cuss him back out. If he holler at you, don't holler back at him. If he disrespect you, don't you disrespect him. That's all he's saying don't do. Don't do evil for evil. He said don't do evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. So he's saying live an honest life. And provide honestly. Everything you get, get it honestly. Without conniving, cheating, lying, cheating, stealing, or whatever. He said, get it honesty. But see, you got to remember, God is the revenger. Now go with me to Romans 8, 12, 18. Romans 12, 18 said, this is what God wants us to do. He said, if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. So God want us to live in harmony with all men. He want he said that possible. He said he wants us to live at peace with all men. The reason why he's telling us to do that, because he said, vengeance is mine. He said, I'm gonna be your revenger. You ain't got to worry about revenge. All I want you to do is live a life of peace with all people. I want you to live a life of peace with all people. That's all he wants you to do. You do your part. 
God gonna definitely do his part. But if you intervene and you do evil for evil, all you're doing is messing up your blessings. All you're doing is messing up to see the way that God's work and take care of things. But when you try to take over, then that's when you're going to have a problem. When you let God work it out, everything going to work out just fine. It's going to be to your benefit when you let God work it out. Go with me to Romans 12, 20. <clears throat> he said, therefore, if thy enemy hungry, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For when so doing, thou shalt he coals of fire on his head. So he's saying, treat your enemy right. Treat him with respect. Treat him with love. Treat him with compassion. Treat him with care. He, that's what he's saying. Don't treat him good. That's all he's saying. He said, treat him good. Don't treat him bad. He said, because when you're doing that, you're building up fire upon him. You're building up vengeance on him but God gonna take care of it though you ain't got to worry about it God gonna take care of it God gonna take care of it because he says for in so doing thou shall he coals of fires on his head thou shall he coals of fire on his head so you just keep on doing you just keep on being nice and at the same time he's building up God anger toward him but you just keep on going nice because he's building up God anger toward him or her you just keep on doing nice because God is vengeance is his and he will take care of it. God is the revenger you don't have to worry about nothing God got it God got it God got it and then Romans uh, 821 said be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. So, God wants us to overcome evil with good. So, when somebody do wrong to you, still be nice. Still be kind. Still be humble. Still be good to them. Overcome evil with good. And it works. Because I know, because I use it in my life, it benefits. But boy, when you try to overcome evil with evil, all it do is build a fire up and it just explode. It just get worse and worse and worse. But good, when good is out there, it, it brings evil down. Because evil have nothing to feed into. But when evil feed into evil, it explodes. It explodes. But when you overcome evil with good, it mellows it out. It makes it better. So you know what? Overcome evil with good. And don't worry about what nobody done to you. Don't worry about that. Because vengeance is mine, said the Lord. God is your revenger. So you don't have to worry about revenge. You ain't got to worry about hatred. You ain't got to worry about dislike. You ain't got to worry about none of that. You ain't got to worry about holding no grudges or anything because God got your back who is your revenger. Now go with me to Matthews 539. Matthews 539 says, But I say to you, but I say unto you, that you resist not evil, but whatsoever shall, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. So in so many ways, he said, submit to evil, submit to evil because he got it. Turn the other cheek. Sometimes turning another cheek means just walking away. Sometimes turning another cheek is just letting them talk and listening to them. Turning the other cheek is not attacking back. That's what turning another cheek is. There's a lot of ways that you could turn your cheek on things because we got people that make faces with their attitudes. They got bad attitudes and they shoot them at you. And you know what? You just got to walk away. You can't fall into the trap of the devil. You can't fall into the trap of evil. You got to stay in the righteousness of Christ. You got to stay in the righteousness of God. Sometimes you got to leave situations. Sometimes you got to leave places in order to get right and keep it right. 
But you got to stand the righteousness of God. Turn the other cheek. Walk away. Turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. And you don't have to worry about nothing. Because you got God, your revenger, on your side. Now go with me to Matthew 7, 12. Matthew 7, 12 said, Therefore, of all things, that whatsoever ye would that man should do to you, do, do you even so to them. For this is the law and the prophet. So otherwise, he's saying, treat others the way that you would like to be treated. Just as simple. So, treat others good. You want to be treated good? Treat others good. Treat others the way that you really like to be treated. I know I don't like to be treated bad. So therefore, I do anything in my power not to treat people bad. Because I don't like to be treated bad. Plus it go against God. Plus it go against Jesus. Plus it go against the Holy Spirit. And plus it go against God's word. Because God told me to treat them with love. God told me to treat them with respect. That's what God tell me to do. So, treat others the way you like to be treated. And if you're going around here cussing people out, you get cussed back out. <laughs> Just ask yourself why. Because you did it. Because everybody is not going to live like a true believer in God and turn around and walk away. Because everybody ain't going to believe, ain't, ain't going to act like a true believer in Jesus and overcome evil with good. <laughs> so, treat others the way that you like to be treated. That's what I do. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Not only because God want me to do, but that's the, one of the main reasons why I do it. Because God want me to do it. Jesus want me to do it. God's word want me to do it. But also because I've seen the benefits that you get out of when you treat others the way you want to be treated. And in terms, they treat you the same way. <laughs> Believe me, it works. Believe me, it works. It works. It works when you use it. When you know God is your revenger for evil done to you, you will be able to live in God's righteousness through Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God's word. Let me say that again. When you know God is your revenger for evil done to you, you will be able to live in God's righteousness through Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God's Word. Because you know why? Because you won't be holding grudges. You won't be angry inside. And that way right there, you can let the Spirit live through you. You can let Jesus live through you. You can let God's words live through you. And you will express it in your lifestyle. You will express it in the way you live. But you got to remember one thing. God is your revenger. But now I want you to go with me to 1 Corinthians 15, 57. I want to get this to you right quick and I'm going to close. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Should have had that. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. And this is a very important verse because I'm, uh, I'm going to close with this verse. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God, which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, if you're in Jesus Christ, I just got to tell you, you got victory. You got victory. You got God is your revenge. You know the, you know the tools to use. Do not... But do... Do not try to overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. You know, the turn of the cheek. Instead of doing evil for evil, sometimes you have to walk away from evil. <laughs> you know, to treat others the way that you would like to be treated. All these is beneficial. To live peaceful with all people, you know, that's the best you can. To live peaceful with all people. And you don't have to worry about vengeance. Because vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So, God got your back. Go home and rest. God got your back. Live in his rest. God got your back. Live in his peace. God got your back. Live in his righteousness. God got your back. Let his love express itself out of you. In the name of Jesus, let it be done. Because God, your revenge, is going to take care of you. For you that do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, 
Today is a good day to make him the savior of your life. That means to make him the savior and the Lord of your life. Make him the master and the teacher of your life. It's time for you to become a Christ follower. It's time for you to become a Jesus follower. And I can guarantee you one thing. Your inner life is going to come be going to end up a lot better. And when your inner life get better, you can't help but make your outer life better. Can't help but for your outer life to get better. So if you don't know Jesus, get to know Jesus. As you know, I'm on YouTube. My channel is Thomas Patterson. Feel free to go in there and check some videos out. You can go to my timeline on Facebook anytime you get ready and check some videos out. Anything that I feel can benefit you and help you, that's what I want to do. I want to help you grow in the Lord while I help myself grow in the Lord as well. That's the way God's work. When you help others, he help you. So when you bless others, believe me, God going to bless you. When you aid others, believe me, God going to aid you. When you love others for real, God going to love you the same way. You can't lose with God. You can't lose with God. But with that said, remember my channel on YouTube, Thomas Patterson. I want all of y'all to know that I'm praying for you. I want God to bless you. I want you to have a great week. I want you to live in God's love and let God's love rule in your life to express God's love out to others like I'm going to do this week, like I do every day. I love expressing God's love. Let God love and joy be seen in you that you may be the light to this world. And with that said, have a nice week in Jesus.